everyone, and welcome to the 2014 Sherm Oaks Cardboard Challenge. This is a fourth and fifth grade project here at Sherm Oaks, which students were asked to use their imaginations to design and build their own games out of cardboard. This project was inspired by a young boy named Kane in Los Angeles who built an entire arcade out of cardboard. His arcade became really famous on the internet when it was featured in a short film when it was featured in a short film called Kane's Arcade. His arcade, um, everyone noticed how awesome a child's imagination can be. And today, three years later, in October 2014, there are thousands of kids around the world that celebrate with their own cardboard challenge. Here at Shroom Nooks, we have been busy designing and building our own cardboard challenge games for today's cardboard challenge. Let's take a look at what we created.
fourth grade who helped organize today's event. Hello, Mrs. Spaulding. What an awesome event today. Can you please tell us what inspired you to bring this to Sherman Oaks? Yeah, so a few years ago, I ran across the Canes Arcade video, and I started showing it to my students every June to inspire them to do something creative over the summer. Yeah. And this year, Campbell decided to have their own global cardboard challenge day, and so I asked other teachers at Sherman Oaks if they wanted to participate in it, and fourth and fifth grade decided to do it. Nice. Um, so how do you think it turned out? What do you think about all the games that were created? I think it turned out great. I think students put a lot of work and thought into their projects, and I like how they followed the design process and learned about how um, designers and engineers work. Um, it's very good organized chaos. There are a lot of great games. Are there any that you would like to highlight that came out extra awesome? <laughs> That's a loaded question. <laughs> I don't think I can play favorites. Okay. Um, but I, I definitely like the ones that I can see kids really worked on it without a lot of support from adults and really put, put their best work into it on their own to see what they could do. Yeah. Um, do you think this is something that will continue next year? Will it become a tradition? I would definitely like to make it a tradition, and I know that fifth grade is also interested in continuing it. So, yeah, I plan on it. Yeah. Well, thank you for organizing today's event. We had a great time participating in thank it. Thank you, Nina. And for those of you at home, thanks for watching our report on Sherman Oaks Cardboard Challenge. To learn more about this event, please go to cardboardchallenge.com or canesarcade.com. Thanks for watching Eagle TV. Go Eagles! Vamos Aguilas! Welcome to Sherman Oaks Eagle TV. Today we are going to interview new teachers that have joined Sherman Oaks this year. The first teacher we are going to interview is Ms. Diaz, a, a third grade teacher. The second teacher we are going to interview is Maestra Sanchez, a second grade teacher. And here we are with Maestra Diaz from third grade. Hi Maestra Diaz. Hey guys. As a new teacher to Sherman Oaks, we'd like to welcome you. How have your first two months at Sherman Oaks been? They've been awesome. Um, I absolutely love the school, love the kids, the staff, everyone is so friendly. Um, I definitely feel like I'm at home, so I love coming to work every single day. Can you please tell us about your college career to become a teacher? It's been long. <laughs> I've been going to school now for I think it's about eight years and I'm still in school. Um, I go to San Jose State University and that's where I did my undergrad as well. So I actually got, I was a liberal studies major, which means I took a lot of classes about a lot of things because I knew I've always wanted to be a teacher. Um, and then I did a year of graduate school, which is to get my credential. Um, I took a long break. I took a four year break to work with college students and I finally started up school again. Um, so I'm finishing up my teaching credential, which means I'll be a certified teacher. So I'm currently in a program called an internship and I get to teach my own class while learning at the same time. Yeah. Do you have a unique experience uh, here of teaching English and Spanish? How is that going? It's going great. Um, I get to not only teach one language but both. I get to keep my kids all day um, so I have a lot of time and I get to learn about their strengths and their weaknesses in both languages. So whenever I teach something in English I could always um, go into Spanish and teach them the same things or go off of what we learned in Spanish so that they can transfer what they're learning in the other language. I have another question. Yeah. yeah. Um, how did you learn Spanish? Oh, I grew up learning Spanish. Um, my parents are Cuban, um, so my Spanish is a little different. I have an accent um, and always spoke at home with Spanish. It was always Spanish and um, I learned English in school. Um, like a lot of other students, I was ELD till high school. 
so I had to learn English while going to school. Yeah. Can you please tell us what inspired you to become a teacher? Um, just the love, the love for being around kids and um, education. I want to make a difference. Um, I love spending my time at school, not only teaching, but also learning. Um, so I knew it was the place for me at a very young age. Because I went to an academy where I was um, part of a Future Teachers of America. In ninth grade, I started mentoring elementary school kids, and I knew it was for me. What are your goals for this year for you and your students? Um, I hope they continue to have a passion for coming to school. I want them to um, grow and learn more than what they came into my classroom knowing. What is your favorite part of being a teacher? Uh, my favorite part is being around the students all day, every day. Um, Sherman Oaks is actually a really fun place to work because of the staff as well. Um, but I love keeping my kids all day and being able to have a different day every day. We hope you have a great rest of the year. We appreciate you spending time with us on Eagle TV. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Aquí estamos con la maestra Sánchez. Hola, maestra Sánchez. Hola, ¿cómo están? ¿Qué te inspiró? Te, te vamos a hacer unas preguntas. Uh -huh. uh, ¿Qué te inspiró a ser una maestra? Uh, yo fui inspirada a ser maestra um, a través de mis maestros. Cuando estaba creciendo, um, siempre tuve unos ejemplos um, excepcionales. Uh, mis maestros siempre me ayudaron. Me enseñaron bastantes cosas, fueron um, mis modelos a seguir. Entonces, cuando yo estuve en la preparatoria, tuve una maestra que me enseñó a enseñar. Entonces, yo tuve práctica con niños más pequeños que yo y me encantó poderles ayudar. ¿Cuáles son unas de tus metas para ser de, um, como ahorita eres una maestra? Pues una de mis metas es, es um, ver progresar a mis estudiantes. Um, quiero que su lectura, su matemáticas uh, progrese para que estén listos para el siguiente año. ¿Qué tipos de consejos vas a dar a tus estudiantes para uh, los que quieren ser maestros? Um, bueno, pues para ser maestro um, necesitas saber leer, uh -huh. saber tus matemáticas, entonces yo les aconsejaría que siempre den su mejor esfuerzo, um, que pongan mucha atención, que siempre um, traten lo mejor de sí mismos, que practiquen ayudando a personas, um, enseñando a sus hermanos, a sus primos pequeños y a sus compañeros. Si la escuela ganó un millón de dólares, ¿qué, qué es la primera cosa que comprarías? ¡Wow! Mucho dinero. Uh, bueno, me gustaría o me encantaría uh, llevar a mis alumnos de paseo. Uh, hay varios lugares muy bonitos, muy educativos, a los cuales podríamos ir. También uh, comprar más materiales para ellos, uh, computadoras y libros. ¿Qué es, perdón, ¿Qué es la, el parte de maestra que es muy difícil? Mm, bueno, porque me encanta enseñar, me gusta enseñar todo. Entonces, creo que lo difícil es encontrar el tiempo para cada una de las cosas que tenemos que enseñarles. Um, tenemos que enseñar la escritura, la lectura, <coughs> Y a veces no hay suficiente tiempo, entonces tenemos que planear muy cuidadosamente. ¿Qué es la parte, qué es la mejor parte de ser una maestra? La mejor parte es cuando miras a tus alumnos progresando y aprendiendo. Creo que um, es lo mejor, me encanta y por eso es que estoy aquí. Bueno, gracias por pasar su tiempo con nosotros en Sherman Oaks Eagle TV. Gracias, fue un placer. Y todos ahí en casa viendo esto, te veremos al próximo tiempo. ¡Vamos, águilas!
I want to take again take the time to thank Barnes and Noble for the wonderful, wonderful opportunity to have it here again. This is a great venue. <laughs> to you parents, staff members, board members, and other community sponsors, I can't say enough. Having um, experienced this for I think four years now, you can see why I consider this one of my favorite events. This is have a big rousing applause for each one of our authors. Come on up. So here's what I want to know about. I had a dog named Rex when I grew up too. So tell me about your dog, Rex, and I'll tell you about mine. Hi, my name is Sol Hauregi. I represent uh, Sherman Oaks Elementary. Uh, when I wrote the book, I was in fifth grade. Uh, my book is called El Perro del Pueblo, which in English means the dog of the town, for those who don't know Spanish. Um, what inspired me to do this was that I like dogs, and my book is about how the dog helps people. So, yeah. Congratulations. One of the things that was important about this book is written in Spanish. And as we take a look at our bilingual and our dual emergent school and look towards getting students more proficient in a second language, this was an excellent example of merging those two worlds. So thank you so much. Want to come up and take a picture? Next, we have Briseida Valencia. Come on up. A three-time winner. And I kind of like your summer. Thank you. Hi, my name is Briseida, and my book's called The Adventurous Summer. I wrote it when I was in seventh grade at Monroe Middle School, and my sister, Claudia, my twin, she also helped me illustrate this book. Um, it's about a girl named Anna, and it's not about Frozen, just saying. <laughs> and it's about her friends having a good summer and doing all these fun activities. And at the end, they, you know, realize that it's, you know, summer's really fun. Uh, I dedicate this book to my parents because they're really supportive of what I do. And thank you for coming, and I hope you guys like my book. Thank you, Mayor Valencia. Wow. All right, is that everyone? Everyone had a shot? You guys okay? Just give them a big hand. Right now we are here with Sol Hauregi, a rising young author. Hi Sol. Hi. So tell me, what did, what did you have to do? To win this contest? Yeah. Um, I had to write a story and from a lot of kids they had to pick one that was the best and I won that contest. What inspired you to write this story? Um, just the Topic. I like. I just like the feeling of helping people, and I like dogs, so it's a combination of that. Okay. Did you like this contest? Uh, yes, it was really fun, especially the winning part. And what was the favorite part? Your favorite part of doing this thing right here? Um, favorite part was writing. Um, writing the story and having good ideas and then yeah I like that part um, who did you dedicate this book like to your moms your family your I dedicated it to my favorite teacher mr. Hernandez I dedicated it to mr. Hernandez and I dedicated it to my two cousins um, who inspired me to write this book. Can you tell me what's your story about? 
My story is about a dog who helps people and they go through a lot of trouble helping people and at the end he has to go to court because um, they're gonna determine if the dog stays with the with the boy or not. Was this like the only book on the whole contest that was like in Spanish? Uh, yes it was. And I feel honored that I own, I'm the only one who has uh, a Spanish written book and how the superintendent said that um, I'm, it shows that I'm fluent in both languages. Congratulations for winning this award. Thank you. And for those of you at home, thank you for watching Sherman Oaks Eagle TV. Go Sherman Oaks Eagle! We have parents who celebrate with us how important it is for us to know who we are, where we come from, so we can figure out where we're going. I've been teasing a little boy this week. Kevin, what grade are you in? Second grade, third grade? You're in fourth grade already? I meet Kevin and his father and mom down at the gym every night. And Kevin carries himself around the gym. And you know how I tell you guys it's important not only to behave in school, but it's important to carry yourself in a manner that makes people proud wherever you are. I look at him walking through the gym and my heart smiles. I've been calling him the mayor of the gym. <laughs> He comes into the gym, and everybody that's on their bikes or lifting weights, they stop and look at this young man walking across the floor, going back to take care of his little sister in the waiting room. You have to decide now who you want to be in this, in this world. He told me this morning, you always call me the mayor. I want to be a lawyer. And I told him, I said, that's the way it starts out. You start out a lawyer, you end up president of the United States. <laughs> Boys and girls, we are here to celebrate you. Celebrate your lives. Celebrate your heartbeat. Celebrate where your mom and dad came from and why they came here. For a lot of us, our parents are here in California because they wanted you to have great opportunities in this world. They wanted you to have it better than they had it. They wanted you to not have to struggle like they did. Our struggle is to make sure you try your best every day. Just one of those days, I'm sorry. But I see this, and I see them, and I see you. I see you. And he's got blue on. He's got blue on. You see what I mean? He's a Dodgers fan, I'm a Giants fan, and look at this. Ah. Boys and girls, I would like to celebrate with you by presenting you with this year's student council members. Student council members, please stand up. Student council members, please come down here to the of your school. Fourth grade, fifth grade, 
grade, sixth grade. Introduce yourself to your, to your student body. Let them know who you are, what grade you're in, and why you were chosen. My name's Robert Valenciano, and I'm in fourth grade. And uh, I was chosen because I gave great reasons, like cleaner bathrooms or more food in the cafeteria. <laughs> Council members, hip hip! Hip hip! 